Hi, I'm Mike Massimino. We've been following along with the astronauts who are going to fly the next shuttle mission to the International Space Station. What you are about to see is the crew practicing for their mission, the team that is responsible for training them, and get a sense of what it's like to fly the shuttle. This is STS-131, behind the scenes. Dottie, what are you doing? Am I interrupting you? No, I'm just What's checking our medical checklist right now. Because, medical, what happened? Yeah, well, the commander's got something in his right eye. And for I real or is this a joke? Well, this Not is a, a joke, it's a pretend. It's pretend. It's okay, pretend. so we're here in the sim. So we're in the sim, and the, and the scenario is that the commander has something in his right eye, and it's really causing it to tear, right. and it hurts, and it, but I don't see anything. All right. So now I've got out this fluor fluorescein strip, and what I'm going to take What the heck is that? You. Yeah, it's this little... It's that poisonous, is it? Strip. It's a little tiny strip of paper, and you put it up to the eye, and it turns the eye kind of yellow, and then you use a blue light, Ooh. and then I have a picture. You actually going to do this? No. You're not going to do it today. I've but done you, it before. You have? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Right, we'll get into that yeah, in a minute. If you actually have something like yeah. torn on your eye, then it will light up kind of yellow with the blue light. Oh, so okay. All right, so... So this you, could happen. I mean, people get stuff in their eyes. Right, because stuff floats around. Yeah. You got to watch out. Stuff floats around and you can get some in your eye. You can inhale stuff too, crumbs and everything. And this, how's your eye? Oh, it hurts. It's red. Is it really? And painful and I'm not supposed to rub it. But yeah. you know. I understand it's not looking good for him to make the landing. Now, see, so okay, I, so we got, we got a lot of things. He's, 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 he's already turning red and sweating from being nervous about the landing. See? First, so, so you folks problem. don't get worried if they're watching this. There's really nothing wrong with your eye. No. We're just kind of pretending we're pretending. simulating this. And this, this allows the ground right. to go through the procedures that they would use if we, something were to happen. All right, so we're pretending. Okay, so one thing that has happened, as Jim said, if you can't see, you gotta be able to see what's going on to land the space shuttle. Well, right? I got one good eye. You got one good eye. Yeah. With that? Uh, you know, you can do the pirate thing. You believe that? All right, uh, so. Just her, you know? <laughs> <laughs> pirates, pirates run boat stoke decks. They didn't fly it's airplanes. It's but Jim, I think you might be. Uh... Well, it's his call. So okay. I'll do what he tells me. Well, it's actually not. It belongs to you know who makes a call. Who makes a call? The, the guys in the mission management team. They you know they'll right. look at this situation and they'll talk okay. about it. We got two weeks, so. We'll All right, two weeks to heal. Yeah. All right, and you already docked to the space station yeah. and some so that's so you have plenty of time to, but you to know what? recover. If you had to do the landing, he's a highly qualified. He's just as qualified as I am, in fact. So if you had to do the landing. Big You're in, at all. in good so, hands. You, know, you have to teach you guys lessons and keep you tell you to do your homework. You didn't study enough of the simulation. <laughs> Did any of that stuff happen? Uh -oh. You know, Jim, you don't know that that you know the electrical system as well as you should. You haven't been studying. You haven't, no. Does that ever go on? No. no. See, these guys were like, you know, the top. They were good students. students. Yeah. All right, so they would be good students. Yeah. But I think they would be also uh, kind of prone to shenanigans. No, and the two of them, right? They'd be oh, like, what? they'd be like no the smart. I'm not saying I want to keep my eye on. Yeah, them. they would be like the smart guys. She puts her name on the board. Once yeah, right. Okay, like right. Every checks. once in a while, you know, Mrs. Dutton, your son's a very nice boy, but he, would, you know, maybe that would happen once in a while. Maybe you should think about medication. Yeah, so yeah, something like that. What should have you had him checked? That kind of thing. We no, I know. I'm surprised hear. my mom's still alive. <laughs> after all Why I, is after that? All I put her through. No, come on. Oh, you're God, a model. You, you must kid. have been a perfect kid. Oh yeah, yeah, right. What'd you do to your poor mom? Yeah. Oh gosh. Just the general stuff. If she had right. five boys. Oh right? my! Can you I imagine that. Five of them. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Come on, I have one kid. <laughs> I was. And yours is a little girl, probably <laughs> sweet. <laughs> imagine right. one little girl. As much work as probably five boys, but no. But my my mom had five boys. I was the second of five. Yeah. And I, and I, I, I did enough. She had enough work with me for at least ten. I mean, my I, goodness. I oh yeah, I was terrible. I was but she had three after you, though. I was a terrible. Kid. So you know, my I was the youngest. You know, my mother said, if I was first, I would have been last. Yeah. <laughs> That's what my mom tells me. You imagine? I was the third one. But I, that was it. I was though. But I was the third one. Next, mom said it had to get better. My yeah. mom said it had to get better. Because it's got to be. But yeah, I can't my mom stop really wanted a girl. She kept trying. You know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. No, nice. no, no. They're, they're real proud of us now. So. Oh yeah, everything everything's <laughs> fine and dandy now. Everything's. 480 seconds for the RPM, and every two seconds that's 240 pitches. Piece of cake. You can do that. Yeah. So so we'll we'll use 240 as the number of pitches. Yep. Perfect. He's got a lot of numbers going at that. It is, it is. He's like Jethro Bodine. <laughs> not times not is not. <laughs> not, not, not really, <laughs> we have calculators for that stuff now, Rick. Did you know that? You don't yeah. have to do that he's like, like that. He's like an ex-Jeepo, man. Like he's, a, he's, a, like he's an extra what? Ex-flight controllers. This is that. interesting. You were an ex-flight controller, weren't you, Rick? Yeah, I got kicked out for do some gazette. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Five gazette to ten, two times. What was your flight? And so were you, weren't you, Clay? Weren't you a flight controller, too? Uh, sort of. 
All right. Not yeah. a stud. In other words, in other words, you were, but you don't want to take any responsibility. I was a, I was a backer, you guy. Okay. What about you, Rick? What did you do? I was an asset entry cheapo, guidance Means. procedures officer, uh, basically means? responsible for monitoring the on shuttles on board, guidance systems, navigation systems, responsible for the uh, procedures, uh, abort procedures, manual abort procedures, and burns, homes burns, things like that. Now, did I give you enough time to answer that question? I didn't answer it before I asked it. I want to make sure I give you enough time to talk. You know what I mean? I want these guys. I want to give them enough time because what what the heck is going on here? You guys are busy today, aren't you? We are. Yes. They're, they're doing an inspection. Inspection. The, the inspection that happens after we undock. So it's a uh, you know we, we inspected it before we rendezvoused. Yeah. And then we did this rendezvous pitch maneuver. Okay. And then this is our last chance to uh, look at the vehicle's heat shield before we come home and land. And we want to make sure that. The, we check it one more time to make sure that uh, no uh, orbital debris hit us. Right, no one ain't gonna hit anything. And, and, uh, right, so we're gonna go back and look at it one more time. And uh, so Jim and Dottie and Naoko and Stephanie have been hard at it ever since we undocked. Oh my goodness. Doing this inspection. Uh Houston Discovery for the bottom of 7 38 of the port survey we're recording. All right. Here's some copy. All right, yeah. so what's going on in here? Am I distracting you? Yes, but that's don't worry, I won't okay. be here on the mission. You don't I mean, have to worry about that. Is this only a sim thing? We want to be honest, but uh, yeah. yeah and we're doing the you're, you're inspecting, aren't you, Jim? We're inspecting. You're inspecting, inspecting like an wing. inspector. Yes. All right, so you got like out here, out the window, this is just a simulation. This is Because you'd be floating right now. That's true. You know, you'd be floating all over the place. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, so. So the arm's moving now. So you're looking at like a, a little video monitor of the you know, that long straight thing is the robot arm, and then the bottom screen. Right there. Yeah, that's a robot arm, and then the bottom screen is showing what what the sensor is seeing, right? That's right. And then out here, if we look at this, is a pretend. This is only a graphical image, but you know you yeah. can see like the pretend space shuttle thing out here. All right. What's that in your payload bay? That's the MPLM coming home. The, it is the big closet. Okay. That's right. And you're going to be. So this is what's happened. Is can I distract you some more? Sure. Please. So what, tell, <laughs> what is going on here? What is happening right now? What we are you guys just, doing? We just undocked this morning. So you're on the just, space station. You just, of course you weren't there really there, but right. you, you you undocked and then what happened? And then uh, we uh, did a fly around. You got to do that. That's we when did, you fly the spaceship. Yeah. Did you like yeah. flying? Did you do a good job? Yeah. Did you like flying we the had spaceship? Fun. It was fun. It was a good time. Did you feel? Stephanie you, kept me out of trouble. Yeah. Is it she cool? Told me where I was and what is, I needed to do. Did you feel really cool? You're flying. You're yeah. flying a spaceship. Yeah. You know, that's like not too many people get to do that. Yeah. That's pretty cool. All right. Stephanie's back there. Trying to keep track of everything. Stephanie's looking at some more computer so stuff. So making eye contact. Some computers, yes. Yes. These Stephanie, are look at the camera. Situational. Oh, it's over here. Okay, good. We got a good shot of it. <laughs> All right, so situational it means this kind of tells you what's going on. Right. It's a big Little picture video of the arm and, and nice the orbiter. It's nice. So, yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. So Although, okay. Helps us know where the That's arm really is. That's really nice. All right. Relative destruction. Right, and you've got a bunch. Who else? And and Dottie's working this as well. Yes. You have four people working this. Area. It's good. You take turns and everything. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, you can go a little nutty doing this too long for too long. <laughs> it takes it's a clear. yeah, it's a long day. This will be our last uh, arm ops for the mission, so it'll be kind of cool. That'll be it. And then you yeah. put the put the arm away. You're right. And then get ready to come home. That's right. We'll have to uh, get the cabin ready, do the entry right. prep, and the cabin stow. Yeah. Make sure we got everything put away. Yeah. Clean up Discovery and send it back to KSC and. and Tip top shape, just like uh, KSC folks gave it to us. So. Right. Yeah. You're gonna really clean it up that much, because my it. my observation is, you know, they give it to you very pristine, and then it turns into a frat house. Well, yeah. when, you know, everything, uh, you know. As clean as they give it to it's you. like, oh, mom and dad let us have the house, you know. So you gotta try to fake it. You gotta clean up you before your parents, before right. you give the car back to your parents, That's Jim. Right. This is what's kind of going on. I don't know what Make you're talking it, about. Well, you'll find out. I'm telling you. When you get up there, it's gonna be like, what the heck? Well, it's a, come put this food over here. So, Stephanie, this is your third flight, right. and I would think by this time in the mission, you would have already encouraged. Uh, you know, Jim and Naoko on their first flight to look out the window and enjoy the view oh, and yeah, everything. Do you, they've already had some great views. Right? And did you do more of that on your other flights? Your, you know, your kind of fun stuff, looking out the window and enjoying the environment. Was that more when you were docked, or is that afterwards, or did you not have any time at all to do that because um, you're always busy? You know, we do a little bit when we're docked. 
but yeah. you have better views actually when you're under. Uh, yeah. So these kind of last few days. This is what you want to do. Yeah, that's a time okay. that you really have a chance to look out the window. And yeah. Feel a little more relaxed. That's, all the that's, are doing. that's what I was getting to. Is don't. Yeah. These are the days. You know, you're doing your inspection. Once you get that out of the way, right. stick your head in those windows. Yeah. Have you looked up, uh, Stephanie? Where'd you look? I looked up front mainly. Out the afternoon overhead a lot, yeah. really. Yeah. I like sticking my head underneath, like in the in the uh, forward windows. Mm. And, yeah, they're uh, huge windows. Yeah, oh, yeah. and look, yeah, getting jammed up in there and listening to your music and uh, make sure you get a chance to do that. After the deal burn and they're starting to get closer to the ground, I mean, it's great. It's, yeah, you know, yeah. You can tell you're going very fast. But Jim's going to be so busy working then. No, well, I'll be, I'll be doing the sightseeing then. Be praying my head <laughs> out of the window. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm talking about on your time off, you know, oh, relaxing time. time. Off, yeah. On your time off, your relaxing days on your time I'm off, make sure. I'm not playing to do email. I'm playing to have my face in a That's good, yeah. yeah. Make sure make sure you take because it's just incredible. Yeah. So. It's All right. Email. All right, well, I, I'll, I'll, let, I'll let you guys get back to work. Do you mind taking the rest of the survey? I'll take the camera. I, I will, I will, but I'm pro right, I'll probably screw it up. <laughs> Let's see, what, what point are we up to here? We're just getting to point one. Oh, this is complicated. So when I was like in third grade, I in made a third paper mache astronaut because it was it was a what do you want to be when you grow up? And no in kidding. third grade, I made a ketchup bottle. Out of a so, ketchup bottle? You so still have it? I do still have it. Can you bring it, it in maybe sometime? We'll get I do, this. and I have right. it in a photo that's actually going to be... Okay, we can it. refer to yeah. it. Okay, right. Okay, but so. yeah, so I have this astronaut that I made. Uh, it's kind of funny to look back at it because yeah. it's a little wide. And our EVA guys are not wide down there. So. Uh, yeah. but, <laughs> but yeah, so obviously back when I was in third grade, I was already thinking about space. And I think the 80s, I mean, obviously shuttle was just starting to uh, launch. Yep. And uh, we now have women in space. So I was, you know, I was like second, third grade. So I was really excited about that. Yeah. And uh, Haley's Comet. So we were, so my parents, and we're in Colorado. We have great skies in Colorado. Right. And so my parents, we'd go out to try to look for Haley's Comet. Ooh. I'm not really sure we ever saw it because it's pretty faint. It's not yeah, like yeah. when we saw Hale Bop. Yeah, Hale Bop was big. Hale Bop was really yeah. clear, and I right. can see that. Okay. Um, uh, and and then one Christmas, Santa Claus brought me a telescope. Really? How yeah. old were you then? Do you remember? Uh, I was about I was sixth grade, so probably twelve. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. I thought that was the best. Until later, I discovered that that telescope is um, a refractor, which is okay, but it's okay. not great. And now I have a reflecting telescope, which and what, is way better. And the, quickly, what can you explain the difference? Yeah, quickly so or? a refractor uses um, lenses, and mine are probably plastic lenses. I okay. mean. And um, you rely on optics, and and basically for a telescope, what you want is a big bucket to gather light. And right. so with um, the refractor, yeah. mine was small, so I'm yeah. not gathering that much light. Right. Now I have a reflector with an eight inch mirror, so I have a much bigger bucket to gather light. Uh. Plus, when you use the um, optics of, the, of glass lenses, you get mm -hmm. some bending of light, and you know, like, like prisms, like rainbows right. are created and everything. And, it's just not as good, and a mirror doesn't do that. So, so now I have my big, the only problem with my telescope now is it has a six foot focal length, so it looks like it's, a big cannon. It's, it's big, and where you have this at your house? Yeah. Do you, okay. Yeah, my husband and I built it when I was a teacher. You built it? Uh-huh, we ground the mirror for like a couple wow. weeks, and uh, and then we sent it away to get the aluminum plating put on it, and wow. it sits in our house, and we take it out every once in a while, and the neighbors all duck, because they think we're like firing cannons at them. <laughs> but it's really fun, and when I was teaching, I, I used it with my astronomy students, and we'd go out at night in the parking lot at the high school and, and, and look at all sorts of stuff. And wow. uh, one of my favorite memories is when I took it out for a little five-year-old, and. They're up on the on a chair and they're looking in there and they looked at the moon. And like, almost fell off the chair. <laughs> oh my gosh, Grandpa, you have to look in here. That's the best part. That's cool. Sharing yeah. it with other people when you yeah. share with other, yeah. other kids. So you built the paper mache astronaut at, at you said third, at grade. third grade. You got the telescope when you're in sixth grade. Huh? You built your own telescope. So you this is something you've always dreamt about. Yeah. Did it did it ever waver? Did you always, always thought you wanted to well, be I mean, interested in this I stuff? I became a teacher for a while, right. but I, I was interested in teaching and in space. And I uh, see. but no, I always wanted to work at NASA. So right. so I was just trying to figure out what I I really enjoyed in life. Right. To like and and uh, and then get to NASA. So I was you know right. there was always a goal to get here. But, but I think that's a cool thing because 
you know, NASA is more than, you know, it's lots of oh, different disciplines, right? Absolutely. And it's, and, uh, you know, even if you're not, uh, well, I mean, you're, yeah, but for everybody, no matter right. what, if, if, you, if you're not necessarily in a one right, part of science, a, or, or you're not you know, the rocket scientist, scientist, but, but you like, but you're, you're an engineer, or maybe right. you're a meteorologist, or a geologist, or, or yeah, you know, we have we have exactly. all different types, and these people actually become astronauts too. You know, it's yeah. not just that you can you're eligible to become an astronaut as well, but you know, it's it's if you have an interest, if you have a, a field of interest, but you have a love for the space program, yeah. but you have an interest in whatever it is, you can apply it to the space program, right. whether it's. You know, whether it's flying airplanes or writing books, yeah. right? Or, uh, you know, uh, uh, what do you call that? Econ economics? What do you have, the financial yeah, people? Financial we have a budgets, people. right? I mean, we have to have people figure out budgets, right? And, right? and people who are good public speakers and people who are, are you know, who, yeah. whatever. Every Everything, anything you love, you can apply to the space program. In your case, you had a love of teaching, but also you had a good background but in I, science, I, of I course, too. Science, I mean, yeah. so. I've always so you, loved science. Yeah. yeah. So it sets you up for the astronaut. But I think what's cool about it is that you followed what you loved, right? Yeah. And it, like if people say, I want to grow up to be an astronaut, and you try to like say, what do I need to do to be an astronaut? That probably wouldn't work necessarily, right? right? You know you know what I mean? Right. Really the important thing is to follow what you love doing, and then the opportunities kind of arose kind of for you, right? Exactly. You wouldn't necessarily think that I'm gonna become a, uh, a teacher and then that's gonna leave, but that's what happened. Right. You would never know, but you followed what you love. I think that's the message, what do you think? It is, I All agree. Right. Be well, passionate about something and then pursue it. And then things kind of work out. They do. You gotta have that faith too. It's a little yeah. bit of yeah, a leap of exactly. faith, but it works out. Well, thanks very much, Dad. You know, I was thinking, you saw, you saw the stars, you said, with that one, that refractive telescope yes. you had when you were younger. Yes. And, and now you go outside eclipses. with the reflective one now, yeah. right? Now Wait I till get you actually, see I know, I'm what you're so gonna excited. see now. It's unbelievable. You know, I and, can't uh, wait to get rid of the it atmosphere. Is, <laughs> oh yeah, it is so awesome. Thanks cool. very much, Dottie. You're welcome. Thank All you. right, see ya.